Hi, my name is Veronica Winters and I am a professional artist painting in colored pencil and oil. Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how to stretch your own canvases. Um, it's a good method um, to do it yourself because you can you have the control of the materials and um, you apply uh, high quality dresser um, on your canvas so you just know that um, you build your canvases from the ground up um, knowing that it's a high quality so the first thing you do you buy uh, stretch bars they mu must be made by the same company because a lot of times um, uh, the stretcher bars um, manufactured by different com companies don't um, connect over here um, so you must make sure that you buy um, let's say four stretcher bars for one painting um, from the same manufacturer um, the size of the stretcher bar is written um, over here uh, so this one is 20 inches and so the first thing you do you connect uh, both parts like so and then um, you staple um, the corner over here so um, <clears throat> you staple the corners like this When you begin stretching, um, they don't move. Next, uh, you measure uh, how much canvas you need um, by placing it on um, the canvas. Um, I buy canvas and rolls and um, this is actually the leftover from my uh, bigger canvases so what I do I wrap it around the stretcher bars and um, I cut to the it. size making sure it wraps around my canvas this is a cotton duck um, canvas I use a heavy duty staple gun and um, one quarter um, of an inch um, staples. Um, so to load it, um, I open this and put the staples here. And then close it. It's easier to stretch canvases that are small and then when you get a grip on it um, you start stretching larger canvases. What's important is to start um, stretching from the center. So I put one step over here. And I um, make sure it's tight and put the second staple in the middle over here. Then I stretch it and put one here. And finally, Again, I make sure it's very tight and I stretch it. Yeah. So now I can uh, put my staples er uh, going in a circle, um, but every time I put a staple, I make sure I um, make it as tight as possible. So when I'm done, 
Um, when I get to the corners like this one, um, I want to make um, it look nice um, as much as possible so it doesn't have um, bumps or a lot of fabric over here because um, when if you frame it it might be a, a little bit of a, of a problem so uh, what I do I cut a part of the fabric over here and then I staple it if it doesn't look nice you have to cut some more so here it seems to be okay and um, again I make sure it's as tight as possible and I staple it twice. and I do f all four corners like this after I'm done stretching um, the canvas is ready to uh, have some gesso on I use high quality golden um, gesso I apply three layers of gesso. Um, each one must dry before you can continue applying it. The first layer is the most absorbent because um, the fabric, um, the canvas absorbs this ground a little bit. I also uh, paint the sides so uh, my canvases have a finished look as you can see it's a very long and uh, laborious process but it's worth it when you buy cheap canvases from art supply uh, stores like michael's or hobby lobby um, they use uh, cheap materials they use cheap uh, fabric and um, you don't know what kind of gesso they use and it all uh, shows up um, in the artwork if you create something very fine that is not gonna be trashed you want to have um, a complete control over your materials you can also charge more money for your work because you know it's well done it gives you um, a moral satisfaction that your painting is going to last for many many years as opposed to the one done um, with cheap uh, materials so when i'm done painting the first layer i let it dry it must be dry to the touch then i sand it and i apply the second layer and the third You can buy um, the sandpaper set at any hardware store. Um, you can even go to a dollar store and buy the entire set for a dollar. Um, it includes a different kind of um, sandpaper, and you start uh, the co you use the coarse paper first, and then um, if you want to have a finer surface, you could. Uh, move on to fine or extra fine um, sandpaper. Um, you have to start from uh, uh, the coarse one because uh, uh, sands the surface in the most efficient way and then just progress to finer sandpaper. To sand canvas must be dry to the touch and so I take my sandpaper and I start sanding. It has a completely different feel um, after sanding. I apply the second layer and the third layer of gesso and then it's uh, ready to paint on. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions, please email me. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.